Hi everybody, this is a super quick video to give you some tips on how to deal with split grommets. So if you have some grommets that are split or crushed when you were setting them and for whatever reason you can't remove them, such as you know that it'll damage the underlying fabric to remove it, then uh, here's what you can do. So right now I have a couple of split grommets, like there's two splits in that grommet right there that I wanna fix. So you can take a metal file um, something like this. I use this for um, grinding down the tips of my bones, but you can get something like this except smaller. Um, sometimes Swiss Army knives have files which might do in a pinch. You can get tiny little round files, like they're cylindrical, that you can use for the inside of the grommets if you need to, and you can get that at pretty much any hardware store. And what I have here is for nails, but it's still metal, but you get the same idea. So let's say that your setter was too big for the grommet that you were using and you kind of got a line around um, the grommet on the inside there that's catching the laces. You can take a little round file, a little cylindrical one, and just put it in there and you can like twist it back and forth or like put it in. This particular file is just slightly too big for this um, hole right there, so you would need a smaller one. But you just put it in there and you just uh, rub it around, make sure it's smooth all the way around. And for the inside there, where you can see the little splits, you just take the little file and put it right up against the split and file it down. And theoretically, if you can find sandpaper that's of a grade that can actually um, sand down metal, then you can use that as well instead of a file. And just keep going like that until you feel that it's smooth. And you can just put a little bit of lace or ribbon um, in there and move it back and forth and make sure that it's not going to catch. And that's when you know that you're finished. Another thing you can use is super glue or crazy glue. So here's a big one, but I'm actually going to use this sort of trial size, very small one because it's less wasteful here. Um, so all you basically just need to do is put a tiny bit on the toothpick and fill up the space. You need to be careful with this stuff because it will glue your fingers together, but basically just take a toothpick, take a tiny droplet of that and put it right in that space between the split fill up that space there. If you put too much, you might be able to carefully just sand that down after it's dry. That's basically all you need to do. Some other people use um, another type of enamel or even nail polish. I don't know how long that would actually last for um, you know covering the splits before it might rub off. But if you are nervous about using super glue, then that is definitely a viable option. Since the glue is transparent, the split is still going to be visible, but at least it's not going to catch on your laces. And that is pretty much it. So I hope this helps, and may your laces never catch again. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.